if his last 41 games are prorated over 162, he'd be on pace for, get ready for this, 83 home runs, 194 runs driven, <laughs> driven in, and 170 runs scored. You are Locked On Yankees, your daily New York Yankees podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome to Locked On Yankees, which is part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Thank you for making us your first listen every day. I am Stacey Gotsoulias, and I'm one of your hosts. From brakes to exhaust kits and beyond, eBay Motors has over 122 million parts to keep your ride or die alive. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to bring home that big win. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only, exclusions apply, and eBay Guaranteed Fit is only available to U.S. customers. With me, as always, my co-host, Brian McKee, and he's here. Watch. There he is. (laughs) It's just another day and another Yankee victory, right? Unbelievable. Not really unbelievable at this point. They're almost a 50 win. It's like pretty believable. It's pretty believable. Before we get started, don't forget, subscribe to the podcast on whichever podcasting platform you prefer. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, like our videos, hit the bell so you're notified when those videos go live. Coming up on the show, we preview game three in Kansas City. The Yankees starting pitchers are into lighting candles in the clubhouse, and it's making everything smell very pleasant at Yankee Stadium. We're going to talk about it because it's really funny and we have to discuss it. But first, the Yankees beat up on the Royals Tuesday night. Yeah, it's crazy to watch because they're not doing this against the bad baseball team. The Royals are good this year. They really are, and they've done it against two of the Royals' best pitchers in Sanger and, uh, and Lugo. Um I've run out of explanations. I've run out of reasons. I don't, I don't know. They, they just, there's teams they'll struggle against. Sure. But the, other than the Dodgers series, can you think of a series this year where they've really struggled? Just Baltimore. Anyone? Just Baltimore. Yeah. It was just the Baltimore sweep. Uh, well, the almost sweep. Um, yeah. They, they really don't struggle against good teams and, and, and the Royals could very well be a playoff matchup. And I mean, they, I mean, let's be honest. They they trounced them the last two days. Yeah, it really it, hasn't been much of a competition. Yeah, it's really. And the thing about it is, they're getting off to good starts. You know, which yeah. is always important on the road because you get the first at bat, so you get to set the tone for the game. And scoring those two runs in the top of the first really set the tone for the game. It gives your starting pitcher cushion to come in in the bottom of the inning and do his thing. Rodon talked about it in the post game on Monday night where he said, you know, it's great going in with a lead and having a lead and not worrying about things. And you could just like, you know, fire the ball in there and and do what you need to do. And it's just a lot more relaxing, obviously when you come in and your team has already scored for you. They have the most first inning runs in all of baseball. If you're, if you're a gambler and you're a first, a no run first inning better, you've done horrible with the Yankees because they, they score all the time in the first inning. Um, yeah. And there's a lot of value to it. You're right. Like putting that other starting pitcher, there's a there's an old saying with starting pitches where it's so much more different to pitch with the lead to pitch comfortable. You can you can you can dare guys to hit your fastball when when you pitch with the lead, right? You can you can you can come at guys. You can be aggressive. You, you can be the aggressor in an at bat as, as opposed to the guy who's trying to pitch around guys because you've got breathing room. Um, and it feels like for the last couple of years you haven't been able to really see that about the Yankees, and, and now you are. I mean, they score in the first inning. It feels like every night they're out to a lead. Um, it, I, I really don't have any more words for how good they've been, how unbelievable. I mean, I mean, the, the, you know, the games get unwatchable and stuff like that towards the end of the game when they're up 10, nothing, right. That's when they get boring <laughs> and unwatchable. Other yeah. than that, I mean, they, it's every, every single night they're dominating against someone. Yeah. And you know, the scoring started in the first, just the way you want it. Volpe hits a triple, mm-hmm. you know, um, He's sort of walk of year, by the way. Yeah. Se- I mean, put that into perspective, please. I mean, <laughs> We're we're in mid June and he had his seventh triple of the season. I got a fun stat for you, actually, Stacy. So when it comes to Yankees twenty three and younger, mm. uh, Anthony Volpe now ranks third on the list in a uh, in Yankees twenty three years old and younger younger in triples in a season. Ready? He's tied with Derek Jeter, mm-hmm. who who at the age of twenty two had had seven triples in a season. Next was Melky Cabrera in two thousand seven had eight triples in a season. Mm. And before that is 1977, Willie Randolph had 11. I mean, it feels like Volpe's going to shatter that record at this point, right? He's got seven by June. 
Yeah. I mean, that's... he's tied with Jeter for third, and Jeter did it in a whole season. Yeah. He's got he's got crazy. month four months to play. It's it's unbelievable. Yeah. So you have the Volpe triple, Soto walks, Judge single, Volpe scores, Stanton reaches on a fielder's choice, Soto scores. I was a little worried when he reached out with his left hand, but he seemed okay for the rest mm -hmm. of the game. Um, and don't worry, everyone. They took both Judge and Soto out because the lead was so big. So, you know. Yeah, but position I, players pitching. Yeah, it's like, all right. Um, so they scored four more in the fourth, thanks to a big home run by Austin Wells, his second yeah. of the year. That was nice to see him do that. Finally, one went in the right direction for him, by the way. I feel like Denise right. mentioned because Austin Wells has gotten like, uh, and I don't want to sound like the Yankee fan who's like, oh, he's great. He just, but he, Austin Wells literally has, has uh, hit into hard hit balls all year right at people. That's right. all he's done all year. Yeah. And it's like a, at some point, the luck has, has, has to change, you yeah. think, or just hit the ball over everyone, which is what he did with the yeah. home run. And then later in the game, Judge hit his 25th home run. Of the season, unreal. Yeah, we got a ticker. We have it, a it, yeah. Um, what feels like uh, the judge thing to me. I got to be honest with you. It. I, I. I'm starting to wonder again about 62 if he's going to re-break the record because at this point it's a fait accompli. He's breaking 50, right? As long as long as he stays healthy, he's going to hit 50 home runs. There's no way he doesn't. He's at right. 25 now. We're, we're we're three. We're two and a half months into the season. <laughs> right. um, so there's no way he doesn't hit 50. If I mean, this is all barring health, of course. But right. there's no way he doesn't hit the. Is can he get to 62? It, right now, it feels like he, I'd. Right now, I'd be surprised if he did it. And at this point, he already hit 62. So there's not going to be. It's not going to be the same pressure as it was two no, years right. ago because no, he already right. reached it. So yeah, I think the pressure this year could be 73. Honestly, right. I mean, that, and that's. I mean, there's potential for it. There. I mean, look at his pace, Stacy, in the last um 162. Right, I mean, you 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 put it down. I'll let, I'll let you read it. But oh look, wait, no, look, no, listen to this. That's not what that is. That is his last forty-one games. If you prolate no, yeah. it over one sixty-two, just those yeah, last but, but forty-one read games. Yeah, but read this. I mean, it's, so they it's said sick. This, they said this on yes, and if you didn't hear this, if his last forty-one games are prorated over one sixty-two, he'd be on pace for get ready for this eighty-three home runs, a hundred ninety-four runs driven <laughs> driven in, and a hundred seventy runs scored. These are like, I mean, <laughs> these are like the 1920s numbers that you see, like Lou Gehrig put up, right? He had the, Lou Gehrig had the one, I don't know which year it was, but he had a one season where he had like 178 RBIs. <laughs> that, that, that's what, that's what this looks like. I mean, they, seriously, I mean, this is abs 194 RBIs. I mean, I don't know what you can say anymore about how good he's been. I, yeah. I, I really don't. I mean, I, I can't. And again, we watched A-Rod's MVP years. I can't remember a year where a Yankee player was was this unbelievably dominated. I I, I can't. And I mean, he it, it honestly feels like he hits a home run every night. Right. No, honestly, it does. Um, and we got to mention the Stanton home run too. And I got I got to put a gripe out there in Major League Baseball because <laughs> Stacy, the the I don't know what technology they use to track the distances of home runs, but it's it's and it's this is not the only time, but it feels consistently wrong. It does because you you can't convince me Stanton's home run w was was four forty six. That right. wasn't that. It, I've never seen a ball hit that far in Kansas City before. There <laughs> there was no way that was four forty. That thing cleared three walls. It cleared yeah. three walls, and it was Stop. still like up. Like yeah, that that, that ball, ball was like four eighty. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, he's been. I mean, he's another one too, and he's not not gonna get the credit he deserves, and certainly not gonna get talked about just because of the fact that Judge has been so good. But I mean, Stanton having the year that he's had, and be, uh, it's just, I mean, he's been remarkable too, and he deserves a lot of credit for it. Yep. And uh, Judge's home run did go in the water. It, you know, so I got what you I got wanted your, because I, I wanted, it. I got at least one. So, you know, we have two more games. So maybe he'll do a few more. Uh, to the pitching, Stroman, five and two third, four hits, no runs, three walks, one K. So it was kind of like a Stroman outing, you know? Mm -hmm. Made things interesting there toward the end of the outing, and Marinaccio had to come in and um, get that big strikeout, which he did. Uh, Marinaccio gave up the only run on a home run to uh, Freddie Vermeen, Fermin, and um, that's fine, whatever. And Victor Gonzalez came in, pitched the last inning, got a walk, nothing doing. Yankees win 10-1, and um, what's his name? Dennis, Dennis, Dennis Santana? That's mm -hmm. his name, right? Yeah. Okay. We had our weekly meeting today and the Locked On Pirates host was in there with us 
And he goes, are you kidding me? And I said, what is happening? And he goes, we just picked up Dennis Santana on waivers. Is he doing anything for the Yankees? I'm like, <laughs> well, um, mm, there's a reason only, why he was, he was their only not good player. Right. Like he was, and, and not that he was absolutely awful. No, his no. ERA was, I mean, you know, it wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. Uh, but it was just funny, his reaction, because he's like, why are we picking these guys up? Off it, it was the only... Oh, they also picked up Luis Sessa. <laughs> yeah, which, I mean, the fact that he's still... He actually had a nice last year with the Yankees, Luis Sessa, but overall, I mean... Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it was just funny. Like, the Pirates and the Yankees, there's always some sort of connection with them. Like, either the Yankees and are getting Duhar. Pirates or the... Yeah, yeah. It always, always seems to work out more in the Yankees' end, though. Yeah, the Yankees always, which is good. The Yankees always get the benefit of the Pirates' trades way more than the Pirates get the benefit of the Yankees' leftovers. Yep. So good second game for the Yankees. You know, having Soto and Judge back in the lineup just sh it shows you what a different mm -hmm. team this is. Oh, with, yeah. I mean, I don't ever, 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 ever want to see a top of the lineup that doesn't have Volpe, Soto, Judge for the rest of the season. For the rest of my life. <laughs> Yeah, like for the rest of their careers. That's all I want to see. That's it. That's it. There's and they no can make it that way. They they have the finances. They, they, that is a possibility. Yep. Don't let anybody tell you that's not an actual legitimate possibility. It is. Yep. All right. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button on our videos. Hit the notification bell so you know when our videos go up. Also, reply to the pinned comment on our videos Monday through Thursday. I've noticed some questions. Thank you for them. If you want your questions answered for Fan Mail Friday, or you can join the Locked On Yankees Insiders Club. The link is in the description. You'll get texts from us. You can text us questions. There's a 14-day free trial. It's a lot of fun. Coming up, the Yankees starting pitchers have gotten into lighting candles in the clubhouse. Here on Locked on Yankees, we pride ourselves on getting you the latest news for your team, whether it's the offseason, the draft, spring training, or the playoffs. It's year-round. You know what else is year-round? Collection season. Just because tax season is over doesn't mean the IRS will stop coming after you for unfiled taxes. The IRS can garnish your wages, levy your bank accounts, and even seize your property. Don't let the IRS target you. Let the licensed professionals and tax experts at Tax Network USA go to bat for you. With over 14 years experience and an A-plus rating by the Better Business Bureau, Tax Network USA has saved their clients over $1 billion in tax debt. Whether you owe taxes, have complicated matters that require tax planning, or finally hit that parlay this season and need help correctly filing, call one 800 549-1000 or visit tnusa.com slash locked on. You can see the link in this episode description below. We're already nearly 50 games into MLB season, so don't miss your chance to add your favorite players from Diamond in your prize picks entries. Whether it's strikeouts, RBIs, or first inning runs, take your pick of more or less and add them to your prize picks entries today. PrizePix is the best way to get action on sports in more than 30 states across the country, including California, Texas, and Georgia. And testing my skills on PrizePix this baseball season has been the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into 100 bucks with just a few taps. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what make PrizePix the number one daily fantasy sports app. Download the app today and use code one word locked on MLB for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's code locked on MLB for a $100 first deposit match. <laughs> Welcome back to Locked On Yankees. Locked On Sports Today is a free 24-7 sports streaming channel programmed for you every day to bring you the biggest stories without all the noise. Locked On Sports Today brings you canvas analysis, opinions, and news. Streaming 24-7 on YouTube or the free Amazon Fire TV channels app. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. And don't forget that you can catch every pitch. The Yankees, hometown broadcast with SiriusXM. All you got to do is download the SXM app. Search the word Yankees. Candles. Stacy, go. <laughs> so I had heard about this a few weeks ago, but a story came out on Sports Illustrated by Stephanie Epstein about the Yankees and their starting pitchers becoming 
really bougie and lighting candles in the clubhouse. Now, the funny part of the opening of that article was that Aaron Boone's daughter had a friend go to a game and specifically to the clubhouse. And she sniffed and said, wow, it smells really good in here. <laughs> because, you know, locker rooms are notoriously not great not places smelling. for your nose. So, no. yeah. So this was started by Marcus Stroman. He started lighting candles before starts uh, a few seasons ago, and he carried it into the Yankees clubhouse. And some of the other guys were like, hey, wait a minute. I kind of like this. <laughs> I love it. It's been a thing that he's done for years, too. Which, yeah. which uh, Can I mention first? I don't want to be that guy, but fire hazard. Right. To have I a mean, candle lit throughout the entire. I mean, that's a little dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure someone has to watch it. But they're, they're not, you know, I, I'm sure they're the kinds of candles that uh, yeah, it's not like. A candelabra you know yeah. Or, yeah so he started it other starters began to do it Nestor Cortez even went out and got them Joe Malone mm -hmm. candles that are not that those are not inexpensive and he engraved the candle holder with their names and their numbers for the starting rotation I mean you Pretty like ridiculous. team bonding things right like you want them to but but I mean we say candles. it all the time there's something different about this team. And the fact that they're do like the starters are buying candles together. You know, they're candles. going out and buying candles together. Like this is just I'm a candle guy. Listen, I light a candle in my apartment all the time because they smell amazing and I, I'm a very big fan of them, but did not expect this out of a pro sports team. Just no. doesn't just doesn't seem to fit the vibe. No, it's it's really funny. So Strowman buys his candles on Amazon. Good. Good to know. Clark Schmidt and Anthony Volpe have actually gone out together That's to go cute. shopping for candles in the West Village. Um, and wow, Clark that is so, like you just <laughs> said, I mean, a, a wow, in the West Village. Like, I mean, yeah. it's just so New York, right? It's so, yeah. it's so, so bougie. It's not even funny. Like walking it's, around with their Gucci clothing and buying right. candles in the West Village. It's like, yeah. oh, it's every California girl's dream of New York City. Pretty much. Um, Let's go candle Clark's, shopping in Clark's in West mother, Village, New York. Yeah, Clark's mother owns a small boutique outside of Atlanta, and mm -hmm. she has sent them boxes of candles for them to look through. But Clark's like, it's not just her. We do our own shopping. He wants mm -hmm. everyone to know that the Yankee starters are becoming candle connoisseurs. <laughs> so, yeah, I just think it's funny. But now... Besides going shopping on their own for candles, Volpe has gotten into stones and crystals. So we're really going hardcore here. Right. And he got a stone that was supposed to help with overthinking. And Cole jokingly asked him if it's helping. Someone's <laughs> well, going like... to do someone's <laughs> going to do ayahuasca by the end of the year. Like wait till Aaron, wait till Aaron Rodgers finds himself in the Yankees clubhouse. Someone's going to do ayahuasca by the end of the year. Please don't jinx us with that one. Um, now, Abstein said in her article, it should be pointed out that the Yankees clubhouse has a very high-tech sprinkler system, so everyone is safe. <laughs> oh, my God. I was yeah. worried. So I just think it's so funny. Um, of all the things for them to bond over and with and through, candles? <laughs> Didn't see it coming, that's for sure. I don't no. know where this came from. Uh, it's no. fascinating, I guess. I mean, whatever works, right? I mean, like, yeah. the, who's the team that has the rally sausage? Like someone oh, throws Minnesota. a sausage around, yeah. So I mean, that's weird. Um, someone else has like a has like a, a Triton. Uh, that's also kind of weird. That's the Mariners, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, there's a lot of weird. Uh, well, the Mariners one makes sense actually because that is an old like a '70s logo of theirs. Yeah. Um, that one I get. The, the the rally sausage I don't quite understand at all. At all. It's gross. Um, Rocco Bodella there's a lot of weird really things. It's gross too. There's a lot of weird things that go on in sports, right? The Yankees have the candles. The Florida Panthers they throw rats on the ice. So oh, yeah. I mean. The Nashville Predators throw catfish. Um, what about the octopus? Was that yeah, uh, that's in Detroit? Detroit? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, candles, I guess. I mean, it could be worse, right? I mean, it's just weird that they like. Yeah. I mean, I love lighting candles, so I don't really care as yeah. long as if it helps them win games, then then by all means. But yeah, like if it helps them relax, if it helps the vibe in the clubhouse. I mean, that clubhouse. Great. Is I don't know how else. much the vibe can get better. Yeah, but great. Uh, but yeah, I just. I'm enjoying watching this team. I'm enjoying hearing about Candles. certain things that they do together. Oh, and speaking of that, Luke Weaver, mm -hmm. they were talking to him about Michael Tonkin's performance on Monday night and how yeah. awesome it was for them to see him do that. And he's like, you know, he came over here and he's really worked hard. And he said something really funny about 
how well the team is doing, but there was a specific quote where he was describing the team and I want to get to it. it. I put it on Twitter because I thought it was really, really, really funny. And he's just highly amusing. And I think the Yankees should always talk to him. Okay. So he was talking about how good the team was. And he said, you know, it starts at the top with Boone and the big guys. He said, especially the really big physiqued ones that seem to be good at baseball. <laughs> <laughs> so now I would like to refer to Giancarlo Stanton and Aaron Judge as the really big physiqued ones for the rest and of time. You would not be lying if you said that. Right. Right. <laughs> so thank you for that, Luke Weaver. Thank you, Marcus Stroman, for starting this candle business. <laughs> It'll work and if for you us. if you're out there and you own a candle business, by the way, and you want to get in touch with the Yankees, every uh, email at Yankee Stadium is literally Yankees.com. It's first initial, last name. So if you find out who you want to talk to, that's who you email. It would be <laughs> it would be hard for Yankee Candle to get a sponsorship just because I feel like there's conflicting interest in the names. But I mean, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think other. That would be too obvious. I think yeah. they should have another it's too company. easy. It's too easy. I think another company should do it. <laughs> All right. Coming up next, we're previewing game three out of four against the Royals, our third straight 8-10 start. So we'll tell you everything that's happening with that game. Passion, drive, and patience. What brings home the winning trophy is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. From superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more, whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home that win. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com eBay Guaranteed Fit is only available to U.S. customers, eligible items only, and exclusions apply. Locked on Yankees is also sponsored by FanDuel. Summertime means baseball, the NBA Finals, and you can bet it all on FanDuel. Right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets with any winning $5 bet. That's 200 bucks you can use to bet anything from the Finals MVP to who's going to hit one out of the park. How about Dallas Mavericks minus two and a half at home for game three? You got to think it one, right? And it's got to be game three back at home. If you like that, you might also like Luca at plus 550 to win finals MVP. You could do that and way more by betting a $5 bet. If that wins, you win 200 bucks on FanDuel. All you got to do is visit FanDuel.com slash locked on and add a big win to your summer bucket list. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Locked On has launched the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube, and now it's also available on Amazon Fire TV and the free Fire TV channels app. Locked On Sports Today is here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with the local experts of Locked On, plus our national shows covering every league. Find Locked On Sports Today, now available on the free Fire TV channels app. And remember, you can catch every pitch of the Yankees' hometown broadcast with SiriusXM. Just download the SXM app and search the word Yankees. I did that pretty well. Okay. Uh, you won't see it because we're going to edit it out. But, whoa, was I having trouble with the live reads tonight? Just saying. Just saying. It was it was one of those nights. It felt like a Friday or, a, or even a Monday. I don't know what was going on. So, game three of the four game set with Kansas City. Um, is it still... Is he still? Is it still undecided for Kansas City, or did they finally? Put uh, let a... me check if they if they posted <laughs> one today. Um, I hope it's undecided. I've been dying to see him pitch all year. Yeah, I heard he's good. Yeah, he is. He's undecided. You know, you don't know how good he is. Yeah. Um, no, undecided is still starting. If you go to the uh, ESPN app, undecided is still going for the Royals tomorrow. That Cody is... Poteet is going for the Yankees. He's two and zero at a one seven two. Undecided. We don't know what his ERA is. We don't know what his record is. He's that good. Uh, I got your answer. ESPN is behind. Oh, wow. Who is it? How dare you? His name is Alta Villa. Dan Alta okay. Villa. And I'd rather, I'd rather see it's the same thing as undecided. And I believe it's, he's 
probably an opener because he's only pitched an inning and he's only okay. appeared in one game in his career. He's appeared in 120 games. He's eight and seven with a 4.0 ERA. So okay, yeah, I'm, so I'm assuming he's an opener. Interesting. Um, another a game that feels like they should win. They're going to be heavy favorites. And it's another eight, 10 start, which by the way, can we mention, I, I don't know about you guys that listen to the show, but at least for us, why does the eight, 10 start feel like it's only an hour different from the normal starts, but it, I, I time wise, mentally wise, like tiredness wise. Yeah. Why does the eight ten start feel like it's nine hours past the seven? This is worse than the West coast. Yeah. It, uh... It does feel worse than the West Coast for some reason. I don't know why. I think is the I, West Coast you're mentally prepared for the ten o'clock start or the nine thirty eight start, where this this feels, but th these games feel like they don't end. Yeah, and like it was going go so yeah, it was going so fast on Tuesday, it and then it kind of it, it, it was. stopped short, and it was like, and because like the first five innings flew by, and then I was like, yep. all right, we're slowing down a little bit because I was Which thinking, hey, stunk. we're gonna get this show done early, and maybe I can get it up by midnight. Nope. Thank you again. No. Well, you no. get lucky because Thursday you do get the the the, the coveted two ten start. Yes. So we can do the show nice and early and really just you know bask in the glory of uh, hopefully what's a series win, right? Yeah. I mean, at, at this point, you don't want to tie the series. You want to get the win, head into Boston with some confidence. Um, I I really I cannot understate how impressed I've been with this series total, especially coming off the Dodgers series, which was an emotional series that took a lot of energy off of you, right? And to come back out and just like, I mean, they've, they've showed up in Kansas City like they're taking care of business, right? I mean, playing one of the better teams in all of baseball, and they just did not, have not missed a beat. They've been that good. It's it's really, it's it's been a joy to watch. Yep. Um, one quick thing before we go. Mm -hmm. Do you have an opinion? Um, probably. Of the infamous ball hawk, Zach Hampel? I, I, Yes. I think it's weird. Like I, I, cause I think he's a grown man and it's just, it's, it's strange, right? Like I, I think, uh, you know, I've actually never caught a baseball at a game. Uh, it just hasn't happened for me. I come close. Never have. I think it would be cool if I had. Yeah. Um, but I also think my reaction would be, Oh, that's awesome. I'll take a selfie with the ball. And then I would probably give the ball to a 12 year old. Um, I, I don't, it, it's weird to me. It's weird behavior out of an adult. Okay. Because there have been two videos in the last few days. One was in Tampa where he ran from another section and blocked a guy from getting, I don't know if the other guy would have actually gotten the home run, but at least it would have bounced near behavior. him. And then there was another video on Tuesday night. He was in Fenway. So he went from Tampa to Fenway and he ran from another section. I don't think he got the ball, but I was laughing at how. Baseball Twitter is fractured, obviously, because you mm -hmm. have fan bases, all different fan bases. But baseball Twitter does unite on one front. Hatred for Angel Hernandez. That and Zach Campbell. <laughs> um, Definitely. I just I, I understand that it's his thing. I also understand from what I was told He's on the spectrum, which would explain why he has this obsession with it, which, hey, I have hyperfixations too. I totally get it. What I don't like, and I've seen it, is the taking balls away from children thing. I, I saw him climb over a kid's back for a, a, a home run ball in batting practice at Yankee Stadium. And I was like, yeah, what, is he, what is he doing? So my it's thing weird. is, if you see Zach Campbell, because at this point, you all know what he looks like. Don't tackle him. And don't trip him either, because you might, you know, but kind of body check him a little bit, because someone did yeah. do that. There was a walk-off home tech. run. Was it a walk-off home run? I think it was a walk-off home run. And it was either Brian McCann or Didi Gregorius. But someone hit a home run to right field at Yankee mm -hmm. Stadium, right by the wall. And some guy literally body checked Zach Campbell so he couldn't catch it. And the Yes cameras caught Zach Campbell's face. That's great. All annoyed that he didn't get the <laughs> It's oh, just God. strange. He's a grown man. Like, wh yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. I, I mean, he know. does have some defenders, but I just don't like how he's taking balls away from kids. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, Let's, just... it's, it's, it's about the kids. Like, what are we doing? Yeah. That's the one thing. I mean, if, you know, if you're going to fight with a grown man over a ball, sure. But if you're taking balls away from, I'm saying balls way too much, but if you're taking home runs away <laughs> from children. Yeah. Maybe it's... let's style it back a little bit. Yeah. All and right. he wrote a book. 
He wrote yeah. a book about this. So, like, let's not act like he's doing this all innocently and he just wants to catch night, catch baseballs. Like, he's right. – this, this, this motive here. But I'm honestly surprised he hasn't been banned from places because I, – I, It might be time to start. Because it's the running across sections thing I have a problem with. If you're yeah. in a section, a ball comes to you, fine. It's free. You do whatever you want if the ball's coming at you. But if you're literally running from two sections over to try and get a ball away from other people, that, that that's... But also, if you're far. a grown man and you catch a ball and there's kids around, g- give one of them the ball. It's 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 a baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Story over. All right. One more time. You can join the Locked On Yankees Insiders Club. Actually, Insiders, text me about Zach Campbell. What do you think about him? Do you even know about him? Because I don't know if everyone off Twitter knows who he is. Yeah. Um, There's a link in the description under our YouTube videos. There's a 14-day free trial. It's a lot of fun. We send you, you know, if there's roster moves, if there's rehab updates, sometimes, you know, the lineup. I sent out the lineup when Soto was back in the other day. So you'll get that sort of stuff. And you have one-on-one conversations with us too, which is also a lot of fun. And then you can leave your questions under the pinned comment below our YouTube videos to get those questions answered for Fan Mail Friday. If you're an insider, you're prioritized. But if you ask on YouTube, we will answer them anyway. And again, like I said earlier in the show, you guys are doing well with the YouTube questions and I'm doing well with remembering to put the pinned comment under the video. So (laughs) good for me. Uh, Remember, you can catch... Every pitch of the Yankees hometown broadcast with Sirius XM. Just download the SXM app and search the word Yankees. So that will do it for this edition of Locked on Yankees. I'm Stacey Gotsoulias. And I'm Brian McKeon. We'll see you tomorrow night.